I addressed a group of visitors here at the National Constitution Center today, and I was asked the question, why, if I, Thomas Jefferson, had not attended the Constitutional Convention, nor had I taken part in the ratification of the Constitution, would I be here at the National Constitution Center speaking on the subject of the Constitution? Well, the short answer is that this is the National Constitution Center, not the National Constitution Convention Center. But in more detail, the story of the United States Constitution goes beyond the Convention of 1787, important as that was. The debates and eventual ratification of the Constitution in 1788 added to the story of the Constitution. The debates and creation of the Bill of Rights and the ratification of the Bill of Rights in 1791 added to the story of the Constitution. My debates with Alexander Hamilton in the 1790s added to the story. My presidency added to the story of the Constitution, as did the ratification of the 12th Amendment in 1804. How will you add to the story of the Constitution of the United States? I have always believed that the earth belongs to the living, not to the dead. Specifically, though, I believe that the earth belongs to the living in a usufruct. Usufruct, in addition to being a word that one must pronounce very carefully in polite company, is a legal term. In civil law, it means the enjoyment of a thing, the ownership of which is vested in another, and the right to derive all enjoyment and benefit from that thing, provided one does not alter the substance of the thing. In other words, the earth is yours to enjoy, not to destroy. The United States of America is yours to enjoy, not to destroy. In whom, then, one might ask, is the ownership of the United States of America vested? My answer is future generations of Americans.